happened in a flash. A deadly avalanche in Colorado's Rocky Mountains. A group of snowboarders buried alive, five of them dead, only one survivor. To thrill seekers, the backcountry slopes are irresistible, but this year they are dangerously unstable. ABC's Clayton Sandell explains. It is Colorado's worst avalanche disaster in 50 years. On Saturday, six snowboarders ventured into an out-of-bound zone near Loveland Ski Area, about 60 miles west of Denver. Authorities say the men accidentally triggered an avalanche more than two football fields wide and nearly four football fields long. I got a hold of the coroner's office and said, you might be ready. This, this looks like it's going to be a mass casualty situation. Five snowboarders were killed, buried under at least eight feet of snow. All were in their 30s, including Rick Gockel, an experienced avalanche expert and a member of an organization dedicated to avalanche safety. Only Jerome Boulay made it out alive and unhurt, managing to flag down a car to call for help. This latest deadly incident brings the number of people killed by avalanches this season to 24. Forecasters had warned of a dangerous potential for avalanches Saturday, but officials say the men had the right safety gear and knew how to make good decisions. But with an unstable snowpack, some of the worst conditions in 30 years, none of that mattered when the mountain gave way. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.